welcome back. Um, I'm Tiffany Calvert, County Extension Agent for Family and Consumer Sciences. And I'm Angie Hudnell, Registered Nurse, Health Improvement Program Specialist at Purdue Farms. All right, and Angie, today we're going to be talking about how to take charge of our thoughts. And Ooh. so, if you are a Debbie Downer, we're talking to you. Yes, we are. Um, or if you work with a Debbie Downer, um, you can bring something away from this lesson as well. So we're going to mm -hmm. be um, talking about the difference between harmful thoughts and helpful thoughts, and then like how to replace those harmful thoughts with helpful thoughts. And so just right off the bat, to prevent harmful thinking, um, you may have to revisit your action plan. Those goals that we keep um, setting for ourselves, um, those fitness goals and those um, nutrition goals, maybe you set your goal too high. You know, that's, that's possible. Yeah. Um, because we always want to make sure that our goals are realistic. It's something that can be achieved. Um, and that way we're already thinking positively, like how sure. close we're getting to achieving those goals and it's not like way out there, never, never land, right. something that's just unrealistic to achieve. Um, so that's the first thing. And then just have a sense of humor. Like there's nothing greater than to laugh at yourself. I mean, <laughs> really, um, it's not been too long ago that my cell phone almost ended up in the refrigerator again. Okay, <laughs> like it's just, it's funny because you get stressed out, you um, lack of sleep, and we know how to get better at things, but sometimes it just takes a while to get into those healthy habits. Right. So just enjoy life, laugh at yourself and move on. Um, can help you out. Um, take care of yourself. Um, we've had another video about how to manage stress. Stress is real. Stress has real effects on your body, so be sure to get that under control. Get enough sleep. Um, it was just on the radio this morning about the importance of getting enough sleep. Um, when we try to work longer hours at work or try to stay up later to accomplish something, we end up just putting more work on ourselves because mm -hmm. we don't make good decisions when we're sleepy. It takes us longer because we're tired. Um, and so sleep needs to be on the radar to get enough sleep every day. Um, keeping things in perspective, being around people who practice helpful thinking, you know, you may not necessarily be able to get rid of your coworker, but you can set a good example. And before mm -hmm. long, others are going to pick up on your, your healthy thinking habits and they're not going to be talking about how bad their day's going all the time. That's right. Um, and celebrate and re always reward your progress. Um, you know, if you have to backpedal a little bit and set a smaller goal, celebrate those small accomplishments, you know. Um, living a healthy lifestyle doesn't happen overnight. It's something that you have to get used to. Um, so make small changes at a time. So three steps on how to replace harmful thoughts. The first one is to identify your harmful thoughts. Um, some of us, like, we just need to realize when we're falling into those traps. Right. Um, and most of the time it does happen at work. You know, the we, pity party. The pity party. We like to join that pity party. Mm -hmm. And we also, for some reason, like it's just instinctive to like try to be the person that has it the worst. Yeah. I only got four hours of sleep. Oh, yeah. I only got three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we can laugh about that because we've been there. We've yeah. done that. Yeah. 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 And so <laughs> the next thing is, is just to put a stop to it. If it, if it crosses your mind to like say something of that nature, just stop it. But you know, this needs to stop mm -hmm. this every mm -hmm. now and then. Mm -hmm. um, and so that we can, we can identify where we're most likely to pick up negative thoughts and we can stop them and turn them around. So just thinking helpful things instead. And with anything else, it takes practice. Right. It does. If you're used to like thinking negatively about everything, it's going to take some yeah. time. 
It really I is. I hate doing this. I hate yeah. my job. I hate being here. Yeah. I hate oh, gosh, it's raining outside. My husband is horrible to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my car yeah. is ugly. <laughs> my house is so dirty, you know. <laughs> It's just, it goes on. It you goes might as well la- laugh about it because we, yeah. ha- we have yeah, these we thoughts, have, yeah. but they just don't need to exit our mouth. Okay. Right. The power right. of the spoken word sometimes is a little too much for yeah. us to handle. Um, what are some other things that you've heard? All right. So um, let's see. Oh, this is with the diet. I promise I will never eat ice cream again, ever. Okay. Never. I will never put ice cream in my mouth again. Okay. So I've actually been there. <laughs> I had an ice cream habit that was not healthy. Um, No one should eat ice cream three times a day, okay? And that's where I was at. Um, The moment that I just instantly wanted to change that habit, I was like, okay, I've never eaten ice cream again. Well, guess what? Like an hour from then, I was (laughs) craving it so So bad. bad. I was setting myself up to fail. Like Mm -hmm. positive thinking would be, I'm going to eat less ice cream. There you go. I'm going to become healthier by eating less ice cream. I'm going to choose a healthier ice cream to purchase. Um, You know, and that's what I've done. And it's a little bit more expensive, but because I'm not eating a gallon a week, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm still not out as much as I was when I was eating a ton of it. Um, so don't tell yourself I'm never gonna touch ice cream again. Right. Think positively and say I'm do- I'm going to eat less ice cream and become healthier because of it. Right. Another f- uh, thing that I always hear is people talk about sodas. Never again. Not going to do sodas. Yeah. That's it. That's mm-hmm. completely off. Which is a really good thinking because a lot of people drink a lot of sodas and it yeah. causes a lot of problems. But you really have to wean yourself off of it. Yeah, yeah. You really do. Especially the caffeinated ones. Yeah. I mean, you'll yeah. go through withdrawal, and you need to be prepared yeah. for that. <laughs> and then you will be dragging, and you will be, yeah, mm-hmm. bad. Yeah. Um, so what else? Exercise is boring. Um, right there with you. <laughs> but I'm not going to say that. I'm going to change my thoughts to be... Um, first of all, I'm going to think of more creative ways to exercise. Yes. So you don't me. know or realize you're exercising. Exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm going to think of things to do with my family that's outdoors, that's going to get me off the couch. Um, gardening right now. Yeah. Um, you know, the first few times that I visit the garden, I come and I'm like, some of my muscles are sore. And I'm like, why am I so sore? And then you've I, been exercising. I realize, I'm like, oh, yeah, I've yeah. been weeding the garden, picking vegetables, um, using muscles that didn't normally get used. And so Mm -hmm. I was sore. So don't think of exercise as boring or I don't have enough time or anything like that. That's all negative. Think about uh, future plans. I'm going to play a volleyball game this weekend. Um, I'm looking forward to inviting some friends over and we're going to go kayaking. Um, anything positive, you yeah. know, I'm going to be gardening this summer or, um, what else do you we, do? we went, um, to the zoo and so that was incorporated to make sure we're walking, yes. we're looking at the animals and the kids don't realize, and of course I realized we were excited because <laughs> I was walking, but like last yeah. weekend we went to Beach Bend and we were walking around yep. doing the rides, but then we did a lot of swimming too mm-hmm. and that's that's that form of exercise that you really yep. don't realize that you're getting a lot. Exactly. But I can tell afterwards I was drained because it was so hot. Yeah. But I had the exercise that I yeah. needed. I mean, you put me on a treadmill five minutes or less. I'm like, this is so hard. I'm so tired. But you put me outdoors and go hiking because I love to explore. You can walk, 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 walk. My kids can come with me. They're enjoying themselves. Mm-hmm. It's family time. It's exercise when my body doesn't realize it's exercise because I'm too involved in looking and exploring and seeing yeah. how far we yeah. can go and places that we could go to and things to see that my brain doesn't say it's exercise. Um, so it's just mind over matter, and your mind matters a lot. Absolutely. Yeah. One thing that we always do with the family, like um, on the weekends, you know, like Friday night or Saturday night when you go out and eat mm-hmm. that big heavy meal, yep. we always go shopping afterwards so we can walk it off. Yeah. And the kids love shopping. It doesn't It doesn't matter if you're at the mall, if you're yep. grocery shopping, as long as you're walking, mm-hmm. you know. So you're getting that exercise after you eat. 
Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, making excuses. It's too cold or hot outside to go to work. That's negative. That is negative. Yeah. Um, you know, I waited a long time for warmer weather. So, <laughs> but, you know, when it does get 110 degrees, yeah. it is the instincts to come out to say, oh, it's so hot. It's, it's too hot. Um, but just think positively you know when it's warm outside my family can do things that we wouldn't normally do in the winter i That's love right. to kayak i love to go swimming i love to be outdoors um and water so, is great when it's hot yes because you don't yes. realize you can be out there and it just not doesn't yep. matter yeah so just stop the complaining and think positively That's right. so i wanted to show you my vision board oh, yeah. Andy. Um, and I update this vision board um, every now and then, but this vision board helps me, and I keep it in my office, helps me to think positively more often because my goals are right in front of me. This is, this is what I want. This is where I want to be. Um, and, you know, without explaining every little detail about this, I have just pictures that remind me of what I would like to eat and drink. Uh, places that I would like to go, things I would like to do. Um, Love know. this clutter. <laughs> yes, yes. To think positively. Yes, you know. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there to that declutter zone with a house <laughs> that's not right. hazardous to walk through. Um, and this also helps you look forward to. You know, you're looking at your Colorado pictures yes. of the canyon and all that, and that helps you keep your goals in mind and stay focused on the positive you know yeah. this paycheck i'm gonna put twenty dollars back because we're gonna get to do this mm -hmm. and that builds that positive mm -hmm. uplifting motion in you and then every if somebody that comes to your office says oh what is this about and and you can explore that instead of coming to tiffany's office she's like oh we gotta do this video today and <laughs> i gotta drink this green stuff <laughs> Yeah, I was like admitting to Angie that this is not the greatest tasting juice I've ever made, but I'm drinking it for the health of it. And there's She's not very positive about her. There's green not juice. too many people that can say I had a grapefruit and six cucumbers and two really large zucchinis for breakfast. But that's what I'm having, yeah. and I'm enjoying Love every it. minute of Love it. it. Yep. So we hope that you can take some of these tips away and learn how to think more positive. Um, and we're here for you. You know, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. if you get tired of hanging around some Debbie Downers and you need to hear from somebody positive, um, give us a phone call. Um, we can talk you through it. That's right. Thank you.